Hey guys, Frank Howe of experienceinvestor.com here, and we're still talking about money and raising money from banks, okay? So last time we talked about finding the right bank. The big national boys ain't for us. We want to find the small local community banks, the regional banks, or maybe even like the, um, you know, I said regional, but regional banks, like the ones that maybe have like 10 states. So something that's like 10 states or a pocket of the area or, you know, very, very small. That's it. So you're like, all right, Frank, great. How do I do this? When I first started, this is no lie, I went to the Yellow Pages. It was only about 10 years ago, but I went to the Yellow Pages and I went through and looked at all the different banks that were in the Yellow Pages. And I kind of said, this is ridiculous. So I went in and I looked at Google and I then searched banks. And what I looked for were just banks. And then I started looking. When I saw the big boys and I knew they had lots of branches, I just, I printed it out, I just crossed them off. And then I went in and I saw, okay, ooh, there's three branches. I circled it. Then I went in and I noticed, oh, six branches. And I circled it. Oh, just one branch here. And then the last is the thing I couldn't think about there, which is a credit union, right? Small. Now I have relationships with all these people. But when it started with yellow pages, then a Google search, and then just a couple, 10 pieces of paper with a bunch of red circles, is I started targeting these smaller banks. And then I just started calling them. And I just basically, I talked to you before about the elevator speech I used. I hadn't crafted it quite as well and I was relatively new. So I just kind of stumbled my way through a phone call with many banks. And here's what I learned. Most small banks have a commercial department. Now, although we're buying houses and you think, Frank, those are residential loans, most of them are if you live in it. But if you don't live in it, it's the opposite. It's a commercial loan. So you need to see if they have a commercial banker. Pretty easy, right? You call all those guys up. You say, I'd like to speak to somebody in your commercial department. Boom. We found the size of the bank. Now we know who to talk to. When you get to the person at the bank that's in the commercial division, you just talk to them. You say, look, I've been at this for, I don't know, for me it was like 10 or 12 years, but I had a corporate job, I was new. Whatever your story is, and I buy houses and I flip them and I own a rental portfolio or whatever your assets are or whatever your strengths are and just say, I wanted to talk to you about potentially opening a line of business with you. It's that easy. They like coffee, they like to get lunch, they don't mind if you come to their office sometimes. They usually have lollipops up front, which I like. So that's some of the cool stuff that goes on with bankers. So when you target the right banks and then you get past the gatekeeper and you find someone in the commercial department, it starts to roll. So the roll up your sleeve technique is that. When we come back, I'm going to talk about how to further that dialogue and then how to really exponentially grow it. All right, we'll see you soon.